In Creo 9.0, we now support lattice geometry within Creo flow analysis. In previous releases, we ignored these bodies. In this heat exchanger, we have a few bodies set up in our model to help selection later. Uh, to show you the gyroid geometry in this model, let's go ahead and activate a cross section. And then let's go ahead and set up our CFD study. The first step will be to create a new project. This is always the first step for career flow analysis. Next, we will select our simulation domains. We'll pick these four bodies for fluid and then pick the final body for the solid. The mesher will fill in the gaps when we mesh this assembly. Next, we will select our physics. Uh, we'll pick on turbulence, heat, and streamlines. And we can now generate the mesh. To include the lattice geometry in our simulation, we change the include hybrid bodies to yes. And then we click on generate mesh. The mesh is done by a Cartesian cut cell mesh, which means that the base cells are cubes, and as they get closer to the boundaries, they split into smaller cubes. And when they are at the actual boundaries of the geometry, they can split themselves again into any shape needed to fit the geometry. This is also called a body fit mesh that conforms uh, fully to your model. There's lots of advantages here for simplicity of meshing, where the, the fluid cells are fluid and the solid cells are, are solid. So to speed up this a little bit, we're going to go ahead and fast forward about a minute. And now that the mesh is complete, we could just, just have to set up a few more things before solving. In Creo 9, the mesh doesn't fully know where to put the solids and the fluids, so we have to help it here. Also, we need to define the material and the density for the fluid bodies. So let's pick aluminum and also select ideal gas law. Next, let's go ahead and take a peek at the mesh of the, of the gyroid body. We just need to select the fluid domain and then say show grid. The final step here is just to set up our boundary conditions. So we have two inlets and two outlets. Let's go ahead and pick on the first inlet, which is the cold one. For both of these, it's going to be a specified volume flux, volumetric flux at this rate. For the hot inlet, we'll do the same inflow, but this time we're going to give it a temperature, and we'll just leave it at Kelvin at 350. For the two outlets, they're going to be both set to be specified pressure outlets at sea level. And then the last step is to pick our two inlets and say release particles. And we say that's going to have, go ahead and have 50 uh, for each of those. Now we're ready to solve. We click on run. Now CreoFlow analysis, as always, it does real-time painting of results even before the simulation is complete. Let's go ahead and track uh, two outlet temperatures by selecting them and then pick on the XY plots. We can then um, look at them real time while they're converging. Let's go ahead and look at the temperatures of those. Next, we can bring back the cross section so we can see inside the model. Let's go ahead and look at the geometry and then pick on the cross section. Here you can see the streamlines are associated with the temperature of the fluid currently. We can also animate those streamlines too. And lastly, we can show a, a section view to see the temperatures as a cross section. And to really understand how the differences are happening for these temperatures of the two outlets, with, the, with one being a little colder than the other, we can drag our legend and see the, the differences of the heat and how the, the hot kind of follows that wall on the side and the cold follows the other side. So the capability for analyzing lattice geometry and Creo flow analysis is an amazing development by being able to do this all inside of Creo. Now users can modify geometry and update their projects over and over to simulate these structures with CFD.